What's going on everybody? King of Dragons 5000 here coming at you with another figure review. Today we'll be having a look at the Hasbro Marvel Legends Build-A-Figure Monster Venom. Here you have Monster Venom fully assembled. The six figures you'll need to complete them are Venom, Carnage, Poison, Spider-Ham, Scream, and Typhoid Mary. Once you have all six figures you can put together your very own Monster Venom. So what we're going to do now is take a little break, get him off the stand, and then we'll have a better look at Monster Venom. So stay tuned, everyone. So here we have a look at Monster Venom off the stand, and Monster Venom here does not come with any accessories, seeing as how he is a builder figure. He is just an uh, amalgamation of different pieces put together, and we get this really nice looking figure. Kind of disappointing that we don't get any alternate accessories with him, but I'm perfectly okay with that, because he's such a nice looking figure. With that out of the way, let's have a closer look at Monster Venom. And so here we have a closer look at Monster Venom, and I will just say he's an amazing figure. He looks awesome. He looks monstrous. It's really hard to say how I actually prefer my Venom to look, whether it's this big hulking mass of just brutality, or the skinnier slim version that we have it with the normal Marvel Legends, but... Either way, this is a really nice figure to own. And I'm just going to say right now, if you don't already have him, you're going to want to pick this guy up. But before we get ahead of ourselves, let's actually take a look at his detailing. The head is done exceptionally well. You can see his teeth are individually sculpted, although some of the detail does get lost in the paint. You can see he has little sharp teeth going down the sides, right there. And they even... They didn't sculpt the inside of the mouth, which is a little bit disappointing, but you can see where his tongue connects. They did sculpt that. Tongue is nicely done. I actually do like that we got a tongue sticking out with this Venom without all that sloppy goo coming off of it. Still, he looks really nice. I love the way the mouth comes up and all the way down. Would not want to meet this guy in a dark alley. And the paintwork on his head is okay. You can see I do have a little bit of runoff right here. And then just right here in the center of his face where his nose should be. It's not as clean as it should be, but it's not noticeable from a distance. Moving on to the rest of his body, let's move his head up. I really do love the way his spider is designed. Now, I know a lot of people are saying that this is Eddie Brock. Some are saying it's McGargan the Scorpion. Does it really matter? It's a nice looking Venom and the scor or not the Scorpion, but the spider is actually painted really well. Comes all the way up on his arm really nicely. Now, it's a little bit fuzzy in places, but that's perfectly okay for me seeing as how he's just has so much detailing going around him and it's really clean on this side. I wonder why they couldn't get it clean on that side. But he has so much sculpted detailing on him. And I'm just like blown away. You can see all the veins sculpted on his chest, on his arms, on his neck. Just really well done. There's a seam right here where you connect the two pieces of the torso, but that's to be expected. Again, you can see all those veins on his traps going all the way up to his neck. Even right here on his arms. Very muscular, very vascular. I really do love the way this Venom looks. If I had one complaint, and only one real complaint, he lacks the white patches on the hands, although it's not that big of an issue, in all honesty. I didn't even notice it at first, so I'm not going to miss those white patches. Again, the spider is done fairly okay. You can see it is a little fuzzy in some areas where this one's nice and clean. This leg kind of is fuzzy. But again, really, really loving this detailing work that I did on Monster Venom. He is a completely new sculpt, so he doesn't share any parts with any other Build-A-Figure, so I do like that we got a dedicated Venom sculpt. You can see his legs just really big. One thing I might have to say about the figure is he's not overly big. Don't get me wrong, he's huge in the sense that he's wide, but he's not that much taller than most other figures and we'll actually get onto that with the comparisons. We have some tendrils coming off of his arms and then off his back right here. Really like the way that came out. It does bring the symbiote to life. 
and I really do like that. So with his detailing out of the way, let's actually get him posed and compared to a few other figures you may have in your collection. Here we do have Monster Venom posed next to DC Multiverse Superman and a Marvel Legends Cyclops. Here we have Monster Venom posed next to a Marvel Legends Venom and a Marvel Legends GameStop exclusive Spider-Man. Here we have Venom posed next to a Marvel Legends Build-A-Figure Apocalypse. Here we have Monster Venom posed next to a Marvel Legends Sasquatch. And finally here we have Venom posed next to a Walmart exclusive Marvel Legends Thanos. So as you saw with his comparisons, he's not the tallest Marvel Legend figure that we've gotten, but he is pretty bulky and I really do love that. I would actually like to see them retool this torso for maybe a Hulk. Maybe we can get a Hulk with this torso, I don't know, maybe that's just wishful thinking. But moving on to Venom's articulation. Now, he does have a ball hinge in the neck, but because of the way it's angled, he's only going to get a swivel that goes around. He can he does get a slight head tilt left and right. His neck is on a hinge which lets him look down and lets him look up. And if you have him look up too far, you're gonna pop his head off. But he can look up like that. Again, because his head is at an offset joint, he can't look left or right. We get really slight tilt for that. Arms are on a ball joint go out pretty far, you can see they don't go all the way horizontal, but it's good enough. He swivels all the way around, has a bicep swivel, has a stiff elbow joint, and I really do like that it's really stiff. He has a swivel and a hinge right here in the wrist, and it's the same for both arms. Ab crunch, you can actually get him standing straight up, which works fine, or you can have him crunching all the way down. And I do like that if you get his head right, he's still looking forward, so a lot of posing options with this Venom. He has a swivel at the waist, works no issues. Legs kick forward about there, go back about that far. Outward movement goes further than all the Spider-Man figures Hasbro have ever given us. You can see really loving that hip joint. He does have thigh swivel which is really stiff. You can hear it squeaking on mine. Yeah that squeak is pretty loud. He has a double bend in the knee just like with his elbow, it's really stiff, and I'd rather this joint be stiff than loose. He has shin swivel, which really does break up the sculpt at right there, and then hinge in the foot goes back about that far, comes forward a decent amount, and of course, forward-facing pin for rock your ankles. So overall, really good articulation on Monster Venom, and it's actually really good for a figure of his size. So what we're going to do now is take a little break, get him posed for my final thoughts, and then we'll wrap up this review. And so here we have Monster Venom posed for my final thoughts. Overall, I am completely blown away by this figure. I really love the way Monster Venom came out. I am a huge fan of Venom as a character, so when I heard that we're getting a Monster Venom Build-A-Figure, I was all over that. Really wasn't sure what he was going to look like, but having him in hand, I must say he blows all the other Venoms that we've gotten in the past out of the water. I only wish that the Eddie Brock had fit on him a little better. It is pretty tight and you are going to stretch that ball joint out if you try putting it on. Trust me, I have tried it. It looks nice. But I'd rather keep the Monster Venom head on because it's Venom. You're going to want him all menacing and hulking and everything else you want from Venom. This figure can probably do it. Although his head articulation is a little bit limited, I'm still perfectly okay with how this figure came out. And Hasbro knocked it out of the park with this series. Even though we got a couple of okay figures, some notable ones like Carnage and Typhoid Mary, I still think this Build-A-Figure is well worth the price of admission. If you are looking for Monster Venom, you can find them online individual parts or fully assembled for about $70. Or you can track down all the figures and pay about $120 for each figure. Either way you slice it, if you're a fan of Venom or a completist, you're going to want to have this figure in your collection. And of course, Huge shout out to my good friends at Black Sheep Comics for getting the entire series out so I could review it for you guys. Check your local comic book stores if you can't find it at retail. They'll always hook you up and find the figures you need if you really are looking for them. With that being said guys, I'm King of Dragons 5000. Don't forget to like this video, leave a comment, subscribe to my channel. 
Go ahead and check out all my other action figure reviews, as well as all my other Marvel Legend videos. Hopefully you find them informative. As always, if there's a figure you would like to see me review, let me know down in the comments, and if it fits in my collection, I'll definitely have a look at it. Until next time, guys, I'll see you later. Take care, everyone.